Last month, after almost a year of planning, our girls trip in Asia finally happened. In the next series, let me share with you everything we've learned and experienced. Suica, Pasmo, IC cards, these are terminologies that we spent hours trying to understand before our trip to Japan. Here's a quick summary so you don't have to do the same thing. You're welcome. IC cards are prepaid travel cards that you can use to pay for transportation, vending machines, and even certain stores like convenience in Japan. Using these cards is simple. Just tap your card at the ticket gate when you enter and exit the station and the fare is automatically deducted from your card. There are different types of IC cards for different companies that offer them, but they all essentially serve the same purpose and run on the same system. Suica and Passmore are just the two most common ones, and they both offer a version of the card for tourists called Welcome Suica and Passmore Passport, respectively. The main thing to note is that these versions expire after 30 days and therefore cannot nope. be used if you ever go back to Japan. Normally, you'll need to buy them at the airport, and as you can see here, the line to get one can be quite long, so if possible, I do recommend getting the versions that remain active for up to 10 years after the last use. If you have an iPhone, even better. This way, you can simply add it to your wallet and tap your phone. You'd also be able to recharge it from there instead of going to the kiosk at train stations. That's the TLDR version of the IC cards and the information that I found useful and retained. There's a lot of changing information with all the tourism happening in Japan, so I do still recommend finding out which of these IC cards are available to you at the time of your trip. But follow that general guideline and just do a quick search on official websites and you should be good to go. Follow and subscribe to find out how to use it with any passes, including regional ones. Mm -hmm.